Today I'm going to teach you how to make a two-part mold of a knight. First, push the knight into clay and shape the clay so that half of the knight's body is covered in clay. This is a very important step if you want to minimize seam lines and control how the two parts come together. Now place the knight into a mold box. I glued a lid onto the deli container and cut a slot for pouring. Next, I sprayed a medium coat of Bubble Buster. Bubble Buster is great for reducing surface tension and preventing bubbles from sticking to objects. While the Bubble Buster is still wet, pour the melted composite mold until it covers the entire exposed half of the knight. Composite mold can be melted in, a, in the microwave, a double boiler, or a chocolate melter. This mold took about three hours at room temperature before I could remove it from the mold. As you can see, the molds separate nicely and the detail is perfect. Now it's time for the resin. For this project, I use clear casting plastic, which is a two-part epoxy resin that when cured, it becomes a rigid, transparent plastic. The two parts are mixed equally with a one-to-one -one ratio by weight or volume. To guarantee a bubble-free part, carefully measure and mix the two parts. Once the two parts are thoroughly mixed, prepare to inject the resin into the mold. I chose to poke a hole at the top of the head, but you can also start at the foot and let the material rise. The resin should be left for at least 14 hours before removing from the mold, and it will take about 3 days for it to be completely cured. Once the model is removed, observe the crystal clear high detailed night. Thank you for watching, and please let us know if you have any questions or comments.